Yo, what is up guys? It's Pedro here. So another player release and this time it is quarterback Carson Wentz. We'll talk about how much it saves them in cap space and also talk about his brief career in Washington. If you guys are new, make sure to subscribe for Washington and NFL content. It takes one second. Hit that button. You will not regret it. Also hit that like button and that notification bell as well. So this was not a surprise at all. We knew this was going to happen. There was no way that the commanders were going to have Carson Wentz on the roster in 2023 and definitely not for $26 million. And even if it was like one or $2 million, they, it just, it just didn't work out. It's, it's time to move on and I'm happy they did. So they released Carson Wentz. And if you don't know, also they released Bob McCain made a video about that about an hour ago if you guys want to go ahead and check that out but the commanders will clear over 26 million dollars in cap space 26 million dollars plus the over four million dollars that they're going to get from the bob mccain uh, release which is expected to be a you know june 1st designation so they won't get that 4.4 million dollars until june 1st but still that's over 30 million dollars that they created today i'm happy they did it you know Carson Wentz, it just was a failed experiment. It just it just didn't make sense from from the jump when it happened. I mean, they gave up a second round pick swap, a third round pick, and a conditional second, which turned into a third round pick. It's for a guy that was gonna get released by the Colts and we paid $28 million of his salary. Just did not make sense at all. And we all knew he was gonna get cut, and it was just a matter of when, not if, and it happened today. Um, you know, it, it sucks for Carson Wentz, but it is what it is. He's, he's a multi, multi, multi millionaire. And if he, he might get a job, the only thing is with Wentz is that he's going to want to be a starter, but I don't know if a team will want, you know, will give him a starting job. And also if I don't know if a team wants him to be a backup because he has shown at least in the past that he hasn't really worked well with young guys. But I mean, this year, what I'll say about Wentz though, this year, he was very very professional was a good locker room guy there was no real issues with him in the locker room this year which was that was good for sure in the press conferences it seemed like everything was good no drama there so maybe a team will look at what happened this year and be like okay maybe he can be a backup maybe he can be a backup for us but will Wentz want to do that i don't know he seems like he's very comfortable in terms, you know, I mean, he is very comfortable financially, and he could decide to take a year or two off, or a year off, and you know, see what you know if he likes life outside of football, and if he still wants to play. But yeah, bad trade for one, uh, bad trade that Rivera made. And Kime says Rivera hoped to tell once in person while in Indy. The schedules did not sync. Called him and told him, but there was no surprise in this move. Sam Howell is the guy, but he says for now. So. Hey, maybe he thinks that we could be players in terms of a Lamar Jackson move, a draft move, or another free agent, or he's just, yeah. I, I think how though, if I had to guess, he will be in the starting QB week one of the 2023 NFL season, and he should be the guy for the rest of the year, and we'll see what, you know, I think they'll bring back Heineke. Maybe that changes a little bit with bringing in Biennemi, but I think, think for the most part, those things stay the same and they'll yeah they'll they'll keep Hal as the guy bring back Heineke and then maybe sign an undraft free agent or a late round pick like if they do hire Tavita Pritchard as the OC then maybe they bring in Tanner McGee as a seventh round pick or an undrafted free agent because he did play under Tavita Pritchard at Stanford so that's just another thing to consider and yeah, they, they need to add right now. Sam Howell's the only, I guess Sam Howell and Jake Fromm are the only quarterbacks on the roster, but we know Jake Fromm, like he probably shouldn't even be on the roster, like as a top three QB. Yeah, he's fine as a practice squad guy. They're gonna have to bring in two QBs. We will see what happens there, but I'm happy they made this move and clear up $26 million. We knew it's gonna happen, but I'm happy they got it out of the way early. And who knows, maybe once gets a job and if he does, you know, they got, him released early so he'll have time to get a job we got a couple weeks until free agency so yeah just want to make a quick video updating that there's really nothing else to say you know the era's done in washington not successful at all he played if you know like five six seven games was good for a couple of them the rest were not great and had that injury and then just 
after that was not mentally ready to play in that Browns game. It just he was he was psyched out. So it is what it is. Uh, the quest for the next quarterback of the future keeps on going. We will see if Sam Howell is that guy. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed and peace.